Hi, George Weber here, No Cash Comics, and today we're going to talk a little bit about my process for drawing sketch cards. As you can see by the tools, I've pretty much started using a dip pen as opposed to using the microns or the pit pens that most people tend to use. I find that the Deleter Black Ink, which is resistant to the uh, alcohols of the Copec markers, uh, tends to have a much darker and blacker look to it than the microns do and um, hold up to erasing with certain types of erasers better. Now I usually start with some sketches as you can see here and until I've warmed up a little bit and found some looks that I like. Uh, in next frame coming up you'll see that I've found a face that I like so I'm going to re-sketch that onto my sketch card uh, using pencils of course. I use a, a, a 05 soft lead and uh, here we've got it with all the construction lines and so forth and so on and it's pretty much almost ready to be inked but before I start inking it I'll usually take a fine tipped eraser which you'll see in a moment and I'll remove the construction lines and such out of there and clean up some of the detail work so the pencils look better here we are, it's all cleaned out and looking pretty good. So once I've got to this point, I'll take a knead eraser and I won't rub the card. What I'll do is I'll actually use the knead eraser as you'll see in a moment and I will pat the card in order to lighten the lines. Uh, this will make the pencil lines much softer. I'll still be able to see them but once the ink is laid down, they'll erase much more readily. In just about a second here, we'll be able to see the results of padding with the, the neat eraser. So this is what you wind up with. Nice soft pencil lines that are still plenty visible, so you won't have any problems inking. Now with the dip pens, I like to keep my ink uh, just slightly above the hole in the nib. This way it won't tend to overload and drip and make a mess everywhere and create all sorts of problems. Um, you also want to warm up a little bit before you start inking your actual sketch card with when you're doing nib work because it takes a little bit of practice without a doubt and warming up is always a good idea. So another tip is is to use quarters taped to the bottom of a ruler. This will hold your ruler up off the paper and keep it the ruler from smearing the ink when you move your ruler away. Uh, again, on a piece of sc scrap paper, practice doing a few lines before you actually start working on your sketch card. For doing fills and such, a number one quality sable brush is really nice. Um, a, a tip with brushes is to try to not load the bristles beyond the, uh, the the ferrule because if you do you'll it'll back ink up in there and it'll destroy the brush tip so now this Technic eraser that I found works better than the white vinyls because it doesn't tip, pull up as much ink as the white vinyl erasers does so uh, the inks stay much more black and you can see that the lines are nice and crisp and sharp and don't need a lot of retouching, uh, which comes in really handy. So we're taking an overview of the card here. So now that the card is pretty much inked and I've erased out the pencil lines, and I usually start getting ready to color with my uh, Copec markers. I like those. They're refillable. They're 
not inexpensive, but they are refillable, so it, that comes in really handy, and the colors layer very nicely. Uh, I won't be doing a coloring demo in this particular video, but we'll take a look at how the card looks once it's all colored. You can see it there. And that's pretty much what we'll wind up with. Um, in this particular instance, we were using gray tones and blues a lot because, you know, Lady Death is, you know, the undead sort of thing and that sort of stuff. So she doesn't have much in the way of flesh tones, which is, uh, <laughs> well, it's all right if you like that sort of thing, I suppose. And, you know, I mean, she might be a little cold-blooded, but she's still pretty hot, let's face it. <laughs> I think most people like Lady Death. So here's a nice overview of the whole card. And uh, it looks pretty good, I think. So that's been our view of my process of inking sketch cards. I hope you'll come see us again at No Cash Comics sometime, and I hope to do a whole lot more of these little videos. It's been fun. Till then, keep drawing and have a great day.